Hey guys, I just wanted to talk to you quickly about some common sense security tips and a really dangerous situation that happened to me and my wife uh, last year. Um, so it was, it was about 11 o'clock in the evening. We live in a, a basement suite, which is a back property. Uh, we, we access our property through the backyard. Um, we had a, a, a lady come up to our back door and she made some claims and I being a, a very concerned very uh, I guess suspicious person thought something was going on and I just want to go over some really simple tips that you can share with yourself and your family your children your spouse it should help you guys keep a lot safer while at home so first this young lady she came up to the door and I was a little I thought it was strange that someone was in the backyard that time of night so I actually pushed the ottoman in front of our door and put the um, the the bar lock on the chain lock so that the door wouldn't open any farther and I cracked the window and I said can I help you and she was she was crying she was very distraught and she was saying my boyfriend can I come in can I come in and I said well, uh, no you can't come in but I can help you what's wrong do you need help she said my boyfriend my boyfriend thinks I came from here. He thinks I came from here. And um, I was like, well, yeah, but you didn't. Um, are you, I said, are you, are you in danger? Do you need help? And she kind of looked really confused by that. And I said, do you need help? We can help you if you need help. She said, yeah, I need help. I said, okay. My wife has called the police. They're on the way. And she said, can I come in and wait? And I said, where's your where's your boyfriend because every time she mentioned him she looked back and she looked over her shoulder and around the corner of the house and uh it, it was like there was someone there like she kept looking over in the t dark corner there like there was someone around the corner and i said you're not coming into the house i've called the police they'll be here soon to help you and um next thing i know she turned around she took off and she got in some kind of big truck that was in the alley and they took off uh, and that was the end of it. Uh, I had our landlord put up a secure gate the next day um, to prevent access to the back of the property. Now, a couple things that you can do to really increase the security around your home uh, is some really basic tips. First off is lighting. By having um, remote, uh, remote sensor lighting, uh, motion detection lighting or heat detection lighting, sound detection, um, it makes your property active. It makes it seem alive when it's not. So if someone approaches the front of the property, or the back of the property, lights come on. They, f you get a feeling like you're being watched, like it's more secure, like there's somebody home. So these are very inexpensive. There's as, as little as fifteen dollars at your local hardware store. It's something I really suggest everybody invest in. Uh, motion detection lights. Uh, if you can't install it yourself, you can hire inexpensive electricians off a of Craigslist or through your local newspaper, things like that. Uh, very inexpensive. I, I'm positive someone in your family could probably even help you out with that. Uh, make sure you turn the fuse box off when you do install them though. Now a lot of the new motion detection lights, actually you can get cameras built in with them as well so that when the light turns on it starts recording. These are, these are not a great quality, but again for only $45, $50 Canadian, uh, $40 American, you can, you can add some video surveillance. Um, so if something was to happen, you can go back and review the video later. Uh, get a general idea of what's going on. Now, around your property, your access to the side of the house, back of the house, um, around the windows, a lot of people like to use mulch, but mulch is actually incredibly quiet. So a much better um, thing to use for security purposes, so around the path to the back gate, it would be things like gravel. It is impossible to walk quietly on gravel. Gravel will always make a noise. And if this is beside bedroom windows or, or um, side windows of the house, very likely that you or your pet or someone else in the house will hear that sound and be alerted to it. And this will give you an advantage and an edge understanding that people are now on your property. Um, so gravel around the property is great. Um, if you have any high hanging trees, any any trees that go to the second level that are near the house something people could climb up to get, get access to the second or third story of the property make sure you trim those back away from the house 
Uh, it's good to prevent accidents and, and things like storms. But this is also good to prevent people from getting access to places where we are a lot less secure. We often leave our second story windows open. A lot of people do. Um, also, no bushes over two feet around the property if able. Try to keep the front property bushes and the bushes at the back of the property low as to not provide any hiding areas for people to access the property. Um, for example, if you have a large tree beside a first story window or if you have a, a row of bushes, once they come in through the gate and they're behind the bushes, they're basically invisible to all your neighbors, people walking by, uh, things of that nature. So try to avoid large, tall bushes. Privacy is nice, but if, if you're looking for security, privacy is not the best way to do that. Um, also, around the first story windows, put really gnarly bushes. So things like rose bushes and thorn bushes and really dense compact with, with stuff that you wouldn't want to climb through. So you just put a, a nice box bush in front of all the windows on the first story. They look beautiful, rose bushes for example, but it will prevent anyone from getting immediate access to that main level of the house without destroying the uh, decor of the property. Um, lastly, probably the biggest concern, which is the main reason that we, were, we weren't uh, invaded and taken possibly hostage, robbed, maybe hurt, murdered um, that night is is don't ever answer your front door. Um, you know, it's important to get to know your neighbors, get to know people who regularly come onto your property, post office man, the UPS guy, you know, um, community, people in the community, um, people that will be coming to your house regularly, get to know them. Introduce yourself, even let them know why you want to get to know them. Just say, hey, you know, I, I know you're going to be here all the time. I think it's good that I know who you are, so I recognize you in the neighborhood, you know. So this way, when someone who you are unfamiliar with, doesn't matter what they say, you know, if you've called the pizza guy, you know the pizza guy's coming, or if you've ordered a package from Amazon, you can track that and see when it's arriving. But aside from those situations, if there's someone at your front door, any time of the day, um, do not open your door. Make that incredibly clear to your children, to your spouse. Do not open the door. The reason for that is it's going to prevent them being able to access the house. 85% of home invasions happen through the front door. Um, they they generally will case the house, arrive, try to break into the property, and uh, get a feeling if there's people home, things of this nature. So don't ever ignore them if someone persistently knocks the door. But never ever open the door. Um, you can walk up to your front door, you can speak loudly through it, you can hold a conversation through the door. Uh, there's no reason they're not going to be able to hear you. So you just say, hey, uh, who are you and why are you here? And then for whatever reason they have, no matter what it is, you just say, uh, I, I, we can call the police if necessary, but uh, I'm not interested, please get off my property. And that should be your default reaction in most situations. Um, and this will just keep you much more safe. So that was the time that uh, we had an attempted home invasion. A young lady uh, pretending to be in distraught who didn't actually need any help um, late at night at our front door. And I think the only reason they didn't come, come kicking in is because we left the lock on the door and we didn't open it more than a crack. Physically it was blocked, I told her that. So that's my suggestion warning. Home security, use the gravel gnarly bushes around the windows on the first floor keep those trees trimmed back to avoid access to the second second floor of the property but that also goes for you know uh, tables gates um, um, other th fences things that will allow people to get up if it will then you can simply just put little spikes on top of the fence or blockers or anything that will prevent that access so if you guys have any questions about tips you know we didn't talk about things like personal security cameras and alarm systems I'm just trying to think of inexpensive tips you guys can can do to the exterior of the house to maintain security. Um, I will be making more of these security videos in the future talking about interior security, your internet security, your, your so your uh, electronic security, as well as many other topics. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Um, check out some of my good guy biker videos where I helped the blind guy, um, caught a woman stealing people's packages and made her go back to all the houses. If that stuff interests you, uh, make sure to click on the, the links in the video. This is Alex from Motorcycles Vancouver saying, Stay safe and uh, keep your family a-okay.